Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. Welcome back to another lesson. So in today's lesson, we are going to be learning about how to use the average if function and also understand what the average if function is used for. So in today's lesson, I'm using another workbook. It's called Lesson 60, Average If Function. Now, you can get a copy of this working file for you to work along with myself. Simply click on the link I have left for you in the description box down below. This will take you to my website and you can download a copy of this file. Okay. Um, this particular file is simply displaying some made up students exam results, uh, which module they have taken the exam for, what level the exam was and what the result of their examination was. Um, just totally made up data by the way. Let's head, off, uh, head over to the question and let's have a look. So the question for today is asking us to find the average exam results of the following, the average of all word processing exams, the average of all the spreadsheets exams, and the average of all the database exams, and finally, the average of all the presentation exams. Okay, so let's have a look. Now, before I demonstrate or explain what the average uh, if function is, I would just want to quickly um, take you to this particular function in this cell where I have done a simple average function and trying to work out the average of all the results for all the students that sat this particular examination. And the average results is 78.7 as a whole remember for all the examinations for all the students that sat this these particular exams but in today's lesson we want to learn about the average if function however if you do want to know a little bit more about the average function i have done an entire lesson on the average function it is lesson number four and you will get a suggestion right now so if you want to learn a little bit more please do click on that link now coming back to the average if function the reason we use this average if function in comparison to this general average function is that if i wanted to work out the average results, let's say for all the students who took the word processing exam, I only want to work out the average result for those particular students. Or maybe they took the spreadsheets examination and I want to only work out the average results for those students. Now, I think you've understood what I'm trying to get at and what the purpose of the average if function is. If not, you can always leave a comment or a question in the, uh, in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So let's make a start. Um, I will be demonstrating uh, three methods in today's lesson to work out the average if function. So let's make a start. The first method is simply going to be uh, me typing in the entire average if function for you manually. So we start with equals and we type in average if, open the bracket, and then the first thing Excel is asking is, okay, what is the range in which you want to choose the criteria to work out the average of? Well, the range is going to be in the module column where all the modules are listed. So I'm simply going to select this range by using click and drag, or you can use control shift and the down arrow to select this range as well. That is absolutely fine. After that, we press the comma. So the next step is what is the criteria in this range that we have just selected? Well, the criteria is going to be word processing because this is what we are trying to work out the average result of. So all I need to do is type in double quotation and the word word processing. 
making sure that it is spelled correctly because if it is not you will not get any results rather you will get an error close the quotation and then we need a comma after the comma is asking for the average range now the average range is going to be the results column simply because we are trying to use these values the results and work out the average of the word processing exams that were taking place that took place okay so this is the range i'm simply going to select this range very carefully making sure i don't take anything extra or i minus any of the cells out once i have done that it is the end of the function i simply close the brackets and press enter and the average we get is 82.8 now being a simple um, just a short amount of data we can simply select all the word processing results like so and a few here at the bottom and one more down here and then in the status bar excel does give us the average and the count and the sum so by looking at the at the average here um, excel is telling us we should get 82.8 as the average of those five cells i have selected and that matches our answer so we are happy with that now next one we are going to work out the average results for all the spreadsheets examinations that was taking place i'm going to type it in but just time just a little bit quicker this time so equals average if open the bracket the range is the module uh, column in the yeah, this is the range we then use a comma after the comma in this range that I have selected, what is the criteria? Well, the criteria is going to be spreadsheets because this is what I'm trying to work out the average results of. So simply in double quotation, we need to type in spreadsheets. Again, making sure you spell it correctly, otherwise it will give you an error. Once you've typed in spreadsheets, we use another comma. After the comma, it is the average range that we need to select from which we will be using the values or the results to work out all the spreadsheets exam results average of so the average range is this here just like before i need to highlight it once i've done that i close the bracket and press enter to get the answer now the spreadsheets um, average result was 75.8 now there's two left i'm going to use another method to demonstrate how you can work out the average if function just a little bit quicker by using this method okay i'm going to use the insert function button so you can access the insert function button on the ribbon by clicking on the formulas tab and this is the option you could use or you can simply use the insert function just down here next to the formula bar which is even more quicker so i'm going to do this i'm going to click on on this function button right there and excel gives me the window asking me okay which function do you want to use well i want to use the average if function if you don't have this average if function on this list you can simply type in average if click on go and excel will give it to you but because i've got it on the list i need to just click on average if and click on ok and excel then starts building the function straight away you can see in the formula bar it's already started i didn't type any of this excel is building it for me simply because i'm using the insert function button okay excel gives me three boxes which i need to fill in the first one is the range so the range where database is present well it's going to be the module column again so all i have to do is just select this range and then the next box is the criteria now the criteria is is simply where is, is simply in this range which module am i trying to work out the average result of well for this particular one it is database all i need to do is in this box simply type in database but this time i don't need to worry about the quotation excel will do that for me automatically um, so when i click in the next box you'll notice that the double quotation at the beginning and the closing quotation does appear 
There you go. Can you see that? We don't need to do that. Okay, the next box is the average range. Now, the average range, again, is going to be where the actual results are because it is from the results we are picking out certain results which match with the database module and then Excel will work out the average of those relevant values. So, the average range, again, is going to be the results column all the way down there once we have done that you can see excel is already telling us what the average result is going to be which is 68.6 so if i click on ok for it to be a one decimal place uh, value it should be displayed as 68.7 it's just being rounded up to the nearest value click on ok and there we are 68.7 and again let's do the next one presentations but this time i'm going to do this one a little bit quicker so using the insert function button average if click on ok the range is going to be um, this one here in the module column because this is where all the modules are then the criteria this time is going to be presentations so i'm going to type in presentations making sure that i spell it as it is in this range because let's say i left the s out if i did that even if it's one character mistake excel will not give me an answer it will give me an error simply because it is trying to match whatever i type in this box is trying to find it in this range and if it doesn't it will give me an error Okay, so in the next one, it is trying to or it's asking me to tell, tell it what is the average range. Well, the average range is going to be the results column. So I simply highlight all of that. And once I have done that, Excel is telling me the average is going to be 99. Simply because if you have a quick look in this range, there is actually only one person who is taking the presentations examination. Um, they're called Bettini Gabrielle. So because their score was 99, so if you do 99 divided by 1, the answer is going to be 99. So therefore, the answer is being 99 even as an average value. Click on OK. And there we are, we get 99. So this is how you would work out the average if function by typing it in manually and then also using the insert function button. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you the third method, which is even more quicker. So once you have understood everything I have explained in this lesson, you understand what the average if function is used for, and you can manually type in the entire thing with understanding, then I do recommend you using this third method that I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to delete all this hard work that we have just done and I'm going to use this third method. Now the third method, again, I'm going to use the insert, insert function button to make a start and then I'm going to select the average if, click on OK. Now in this window, the range is as it is before the module column which has all the modules listed and then next in the criteria box this is where i need to make a little change now rather than typing in the actual um, words uh, or the module name that i am trying to work out the average value of the results for what i can do instead is simply use the cell reference um, of this of this cell here because inside this cell i actually have the word word processing already typed in so if i use this cell reference what what excel will do is take whatever is inside this cell and try to match it with the exact word that is in this cell and trying to find or match every single occurrence of this of this word in each one of these cells and then it will go across and work out the average of those particular um, cells so if i click on h4 
or you can type it in it doesn't really matter um, you can see straight away excel is saying equals word processing simply because inside h4 the words word processing does exist and then it will use these two words to match in this range and find every occurrence of the word processing of the words word processing anyway once i have done that we click in the average range uh, for the third box and simply select the range like we did before this is the same as before however uh, before we click on ok what i need you to do to make it even faster because the idea is for us to work out the first function for word processing and then replicate into the other cells without having to change any of these cell references now before we click on ok what i what i recommend you do or suggest you, you you to do is make these two or this range of cells an absolute cell reference because we don't want d3 all the way to d17 to change as i replicate into the other cells to work out spreadsheets database and presentations average results um, score so also the average range here we don't want this range to be changing as i replicate down so we also need to make this range into an absolute reference however this one here the criteria cell reference i have used h4 we do want this one to change therefore we need to leave this val this cell reference as a relative reference therefore when i replicate down um, it will change from h4 into this one to be h5 and then in this one to be h6 simply because remember it will be taking these words that do exist in these cells we want this change to happen otherwise if we didn't and we made this into an absolute reference as well it will be frozen so when i replicate down it will be using word processing instead of spreadsheets database or presentations so i'm going to show you now how to make these ranges into an absolute reference what you have to do um, and this is very important by the way everyone for you to make a an entire range into an absolute reference you must highlight the full range if you did just click there it will only make d17 an absolute reference and it will leave d3 to be a relative and this will change so we don't want any of them to change we want the entire range to be an absolute reference therefore you need to highlight the full range and simply press f four on the keyboard and it will put dollar signs you can see next to d3 and also all the way to d17 we need to do the exact same thing here as well so highlight the full range press f4 on the keyboard and you can see all the dollar signs appear once that has happened we can safely click on ok and have a quick look in the formula bar just to examine and make sure that everything is as it is and it should be um, before we replicate down otherwise whatever we replicate down if there is an error we are also replicating the error so d3 all the way to, d to d17 is um, an absolute reference h4 is a, a relative reference and all the way from f3 to f17 which is the results is also an absolute reference so now we are uh, safely we can replicate into the other cells all i need to do is click and drag all the way down and excel will work out can you see the spreadsheets average um, results value so h5 has changed which is referencing to this cell here for spreadsheets so when i click in for database it should be h6 let's have a look there we are h6 and so on okay so i hope now you have got a comprehensive understanding of the average if function um, what it is when to use it and the different methods i have demonstrated to you 
And this brings us to the end of today's lesson. However, if you do have any questions, please do leave it in the comment section. And uh, as usual, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, please do like and share the, this lesson and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. And look after yourself and I shall see you over in the next lesson. Goodbye for now.